Well, hi everyone again. Um, welcome to, well, this will be the final of the Chinook build, um, the Italeri kit. Um, if you've watched my earlier videos, you will we'll know I'm not entirely happy with the kit. Um, if I'd have known the problems before, um, I wouldn't have I wouldn't have bought it. To be fair, um, but um, I decided to muck through and uh, you know try and get it as as best I can out of you know silk purse out of a sow's ear, as they say. Um, I was starting to use the um, Italeri um, decals and I wasn't happy with the colour of the um, RF roundels and the insignia and in, in the kit I, I thought the blue was actually wrong now I could be wrong I'm not an expert but it just didn't look right to me so the the logos that I've put on here now um, these are from another set that I purchased from Hannant's um, and the company is Carousel I can't remember now um, let's have a quick look at the packet he says feverishly opening it because um, he should have done that before he started filming um, Caracal, Caracal models. Um, they do this set, CH47. Um, it's their part number CD48148. And there's 17 marking options for C47 helicopters, uh, according to this. And, and it's designed for the Etelari kit. And a plump for the RF set, in fact, option 12 in their, in their, in their song sheet. Um, is the only one which is an RAF one but I liked it because it had the RAF 100 um, logos which I thought were quite cool um, and um, I don't know if you might let's bring that in um, on the tail so you've got large RAF 100 there and on the nose you've got the RAF 100 there straight away one of the things I saw which, which was different um, to the Italeri kit was the um, the rescue markings. The rescue markings on on here are, are a straight line. They're fairly. I, again, I'm not entirely sure that that's 100% um, accurate, but it's better than the Atelieri options. Um, if you're, if you, I would suggest if you are buying the Atelieri kit and you are going to battle your way through first and foremost good luck with that and secondly I would say um, get the Caracal models kit uh, decal set um, it, it's worth worth getting I think that the blue on these RF roundels is far more accurate um, and the fin markings the only thing with the the, the tail um, fin marking here um, I think it's slightly small uh, reference photographs um, show it filling up the whole of that panel um, but I'm going to live with this the, the kit's got so many things that I don't like about it that that's you know it's just one more thing but it's all together I've got the wheels on now the tailgates shut in uh, set in place um, it's been sat for a couple of days um, I sealed all of the, the decals in that I've put on at the moment and to be honest with you um, there's all the stencil markings and stuff like that um, this sort of stuff loads of little bits and pieces I'll keep all the decals in the Ziploc bag um, I'm not entirely convinced. I'm, 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 in fact, I, d I don't think I will be going ahead and fitting all of those. I might go. And, there's one or two things that that I'll, I will add, but yeah, I think it's probably because my heart's not in the kit anymore. Um, I might just leave it at that. Um, I've got the the rotors are all done. Um, 
and uh, what she'll do is just stick well not stick place the uh, the four rotor on that goes in that goes on there uh, well, of course it does it goes on the four end and the rear rotor goes on the rear hey well done Bob um, and I think you know it does make an impressive looking kit but then I think you know it's a Chinook <laughs> Um, if you've ever seen one of these things flying um, at low level, you'll you'll know that they are actually pretty pretty awesome pieces of kit. Um, so the next stage um, is really to put a matte coat on. Um, as you can see, there's a bit of gloss on 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 the rotors. This is because I put a gloss coat on just to make sure that the decals set down. Um, I wasn't sure how these decals would would act, um, so they sat in on a on a, a clear gloss coat. Um, but I give everything a wipe down and and a coat of matte, um, and I'll see where we are from there. I think, but uh, once I've done that, we're pretty much home and dry. But uh, I'll be back in a second after having given it a matte coat. Um, It'll be a second for you, but it'll be a day for me. Sweet again soon. So actually I spent uh, the last couple of days having given this a matte coat, um, trying to decide what I was going to do with the decals. Um, because of giving it a matte coat, I've decided to leave it as, as it is. I'm not going to bother with, with all the stencil stuff. So next thing to do is go back through the instructions and look at all the antenna and uh, all the pokey out bits that um, we've got fit so the first bit is to go back to section 14 in the instructions and start adding on stuff that's on the underside so that's going to that's gonna be the next stage I'm going to add all of that and then uh, yeah probably uh, look at all the stuff to go on the top and reposition or position those so I'll get on with that and be back with you shortly I thought I'd um, just uh, show you the underside here where I'm fitting these uh, antenna um, not surprisingly um, these antenna here these four um, including this grey one I'll come back to that in a minute um, there's no fixing points there's no holes to, to fix these two um, and they're not there's not sufficient space on the underside of them to um, to provide provide uh, a pin location so obviously they have to, have to be filed flat on the underside so you get a good surface and also the paint here has to be straight back um, for that I use a curved blade um, this is a number six I think these are they're not a nine it's a six um, it's a six curved blade um, that's because if you use a straight blade you're just gonna put a point into into the surface whereas with a curved blade you tend to take a, a with a curved blade you tend to um, get a better um, attack on the plastic and and you can you can scrape quite a bit away so again scraping the paint away <coughs> to me so why is there a gray one well I missed it it was still on the sprue um, I thought I'd taken all the antenna off and painted them unfortunately I'd missed that one and this is this is um, so moving on there's another antenna to go on to the on to the bottom um, that's uh, that's this one here and that goes according to Etelari's drawings it goes there and somewhere along at that point now as you can see there's no way of fitting it it's just a flat piece 
um, I don't understand why they have a number of holes here that they're not using um, yet there's no fixing holes here for the antenna it just seemed bizarre um, the other antenna that I've got to fit is on the on the nose in this this location here and again there's no there's no fixing point and this is this is the antenna here um, there's no way I can make that part here into a pin really um, to give that a, a you know a good purchase so again um, what we're going to have to do here is scrape some of the paint away so for it, it is according to today's drawing it's in the center so just gently with the with the blade just to scrape away an area of paint now I'm using Tamiya Extra Thin um, just the, the dark green bottle this, this, this glue and you can use the hot one um, the Tamiya Extra Thin the, the, the instant one um, if you're worried because if but the I tend to use the, the dark green one um, that gives me a bit of play um, a bit of time at the location so if I offer up the part and put that in place with the rapid glue the rapid glue is pretty much gone off before you've got a good location or an accurate location with the with the the other extra thin uh, gives you a bit of time to play with um, so the other thing to do is then to locate this part and to do that going up to the location here and, and I'm doing it by sight um, not measuring it because it's an area don't give you a uh, an opportunity they don't oh, it's not an opportunity they don't give you a, a clue as to really where that's going to be so just scrape a, a section of paint away have this brush here this is a it's a cheap watercolour brush that I bought in those cheap art shops you know one of the high street art shops that you know you can get paint brushes for a quid um, that's a good one though for just sweeping away dirt and dust and debris it's like a stiff witch's broom given it's Halloween anyway onwards um, and I'll come back to you in a minute so finally put together finally phew, bit of a mission so assessing it well there's a number of things I'd like to say about the kit sprues and parts phew, I suppose they were okay um, the uh, there was flash on parts and stuff and the quality of the moldings was soft um, so I think it's probably because it's an old tool um, the decals um, I think were wrong I think the color was wrong on the blue um, so I wasn't overly impressed with those which is why I haven't really bothered putting on all the stencils instructions and the information well there were lots of errors in the instructions even right at the end um, there was still other things that needed to be done um, that you know the, the instruction on, on the placement of, of aerials and antenna wasn't good um, and I've just noticed that <laughs> I've actually left the two off the nose um, they'll have to go on once I've finished filming um, paint and colour call out well Italeri paint colour numbers I don't know where to get Italeri paint so it's it's then down to equivalence um, 
the build the parts fit parts fit wasn't very good uh, again I think it's because it's old tooling um, and poor quality of molding and stuff like that it wasn't all that but it wasn't impossible to put together it's just tricky um, you know it's not a beginner's kit anyway um, you need to be thinking about what you're doing build sequence wasn't very good um, there were a lot of things that it told you to do very early on in the build that you, you really didn't need to do until right at the end so the build sequence wasn't particularly good um, as a finished model yeah it looks the part it's uh, pretty cool really but there were things that I would do differently again so there's things there that I, I'm, I'm, I'm not happy that I did uh, that I would do differently um, again with the build sequence the colour call outs and stuff like that there were things I, I'd do differently overall if I was to score it out of 100 I'd say it's probably 45 I wouldn't even give it 50% but apart from that yep the Chinook's done and I'm glad to see the back of it so thanks for watching um, I'd appreciate your comments and uh, if you like the video like and subscribe and uh, we'll see you all again soon cheers bye bye